Everyone, thanks so much for the support. 2019, right now. I'm just looking up some space news. You know, it's there's a cocktail. Uh, that's what I can say of astronomy news that is uh, coming up. You know, on the internet. Uh, Ultima Thule. You know, they're talking about that first color photo of New Horizons. Um, they're saying that the target reveals a red snowman. Um, SpaceX, of course. You know, the first Crew Dragon spaceship, they're saying, is on the launch pad. There was a launch the other day seen over California, the Super Bowl of Astronomy, they call it. Uh, China landing the moon um, on the far side, landing a spacecraft there. <laughs> they call it the dark side because it's just basically, uh, well, one, the Pink Floyd album, and two, it's the side that we don't know about or see. So whatever's going so on. So now, there. did you guys hear about that spy satellite? They sent up a spy satellite too the other day, and that's uh, that was a sighting over California. So get ready to see a lot of videos of UFOs over California. But they say it was a space launch. You know that launch was really, really close to uh, the launch for China going to the dark side of the moon. So we got the dark side of the moon, and the next day we have a spy satellite that go that goes up. So, you know, what really ticks me off is that they're always putting back the dates. That's that's what really uh, gets to me, you know. I'm sure by 2030, we still will not have been up on the moon. You know, if, if we listen to science, science tells us that it's impossible to to leave this Earth the way they say that they, they did. Um, why? Because we have a lot of things to go through, to encounter, and we have to be prepared to go through the thermosphere that's going to and would have completely obliviated any aluminum alloy spacecraft or steel spacecraft that would have gone through there because the thermosphere heats up hotter, I think it's 5,000 degrees and up, more than when steel melts an aluminum alloy. Maybe it was a special aluminum alloy, they'll say. But we're talking about the Van Allen belts. You know, how could we have gone through the Van Allen belts? That's another thing we'd have to uh, encounter. Um, we have to have a, a spacecraft that would be so thick of a very strong metal. I don't even think we could use metal. We'd probably have to use a diamond. <laughs> I don't know. But it'd have to be pretty solid and thick for us to get through that. So, you know, it makes you wonder, did they really land on the moon or not back in the, in the 60s? We'll never, maybe never know. But we can't deny that we're finding stuff up there on the moon in my research. Um, I've been finding a lot. So thanks for the support, everyone. A lot more on its way. Uh, I got like five days left at work to do, and then I'm doing this full time. So thanks for the encouragement. Don't stop what you're doing. Keep the shares up. Keep stopping by. Keep connecting with me in the comment section. And uh, happy 2019. Let's see what we can get. Another very interesting point. Uh, during the first new moon of 2019, a dark moonless sky will please many meteor watchers. You're going to be able to get a lot of shots, those of you trying to catch meteors uh, in the sky, because of the moon being hidden. A new moon occurs when the moon is between Earth and the Sun, and the two celestial bodies share the same celestial longitude. It's a projection of Earth's longitude lines on another celestial sphere. This is called a conjunction. They say it's always impossible to see the new moon because the reflected sunlight is illuminating the moon too much. You ever wonder how many asteroids come into our solar system each year? Sometimes called minor planets, rocky remnants left over from, they say, early formations of our solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. Most of this ancient space rubble can be found orbiting the sun between Mars and Jupiter within the main asteroid belt.
what is the asteroid belt? Not to be mixed up with all the belts, you know, the asteroid belt, the Van Allen belts, yeah, the Kuiper belts. Uh, the asteroid belt is a circumstellar disk in the solar system located roughly between the orbits of the planets Mars and Jupiter. It's occupied by numerous irregularly shaped bodies called asteroids and or minor planets. Scientists are saying for us to find out if there is any life on Mars for us to go deep inside the surface. Can there be microbial Martians in the so-called deep biosphere called a subsurface environment with microorganisms? This is according to research presented on December 11th at the annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union. In December 2017, Donald Trump, the President of the United States of America, gave NASA a new direction telling the agency to work with international and commercial partners to refocus exploration efforts on the Moon, with an eye to eventually going to Mars and even beyond. Do you guys know what a geosynchronous satellite is? It's a satellite that is in a geosynchronous orbit, meaning it is in a stationary position. So when you're looking at that satellite, it looks like a star in the sky. A geosynchronous satellite is a satellite in geosynchronous orbit with an orbital period the same as the Earth's rotation period. Such a satellite returns to the same position in the sky after each side real day. So what's new in 2019 with the space station? Ongoing story, a very interesting story. I, I don't know if you've all heard of this. Someone appears that they have drilled some type of hole in the International Space Station. And apparently from, according to a crew member, it, it was drilled from the inside of the International Space Station. Also, one of the Russian cosmonauts who explored the strange gap found in the outside of a capsule attached to the International Space Station said Russian law enforcements, they are now going to look into uh, trying to understand how the heck that opening was drilled um, from the inside of the spacecraft. The hole in the Russian Soyuz spacecraft that's attached to the space station was spotted on August 30th. Uh, the crew discovered a leak uh, and it was creating a slight, apparently a slight loss of pressure. And uh, they plugged up the hole with epoxy and gauze. Do you guys know how long the International Space Station's time in orbit is so far? Take a guess. How many days? 7,352 days, 17 hours, 17 minutes, and 17 seconds. Do you guys have any ideas of what goes on in the space station? Hundreds, if not thousands, of experiments. Hundreds of experiments in biology, biotechnology, physical sciences, and earth sciences. They have uh, finding ways to protect crews from the effects of space radiation, and these are just a few of some of the things that they say they are doing up there. Um, what else are they doing? They're warming into research on aging and muscle loss in space. You know, the effects that space has on us, our bodies, when we're off of this planet, 
And, well, they have an amazingly close observatory to the moon to be able to see all of the activity. If you want to see more of this research and you want to see this channel keep on rolling, you guys just keep on doing what you've been doing, sharing the videos and stopping by to check out the research. Thanks a lot, everyone.